Our next topic is ultrasound guided supraclavicular tracheal plexus block. As we all know that it is a division level block and uh, the main landmark structure of uh, anatomy are first strip clavical, subclavian artery and of course division. This block is suitable for any surgery distal to the shoulder. See the sensory innervation and this is one of the best indication of ultrasound guided supraclavicular block. This block is not suitable in cases when there is a poor lung reserve. Now scanning technique is either supine head elevated or turned to the opposite side or either in lateral positions. In both positions patient the operator lies on same side and machine on the opposite side. When we put probe on supraclavicular fossa targeting on thoracic inlet, directing on thoracic inlet, we will we'll see this picture. Now the machine setting is that I we usually give uh, uses uh, now settings, linear high frequency probe is utilized in resolution mode and depth commonly used is 2 to 3 centimeter depend can be can be increased and needle is 5 5 centimeter short wave needle is utilized in plane approach from lateral to medial and dose generally we use is 20 to 30 ml of local anesthetic now let's uh, see sono anatomy when we put probe the first important landmark is pulsatile axillary pulsatile subclavian artery resting on first rib which looks like hypoechoic and posteriorly making acoustic order. artery is anechoic this is rib is hyperechoic and uh, just below to that is pleura which is hyperechoic and showing lung sliding sign just posterolateral to the artery we will find a nodule which is hypoechoic and having hyperechoic rheum and that is a division of plexal plexus that start from here that rise somewhere here this black area is a inferior belly of omohyoid muscles skin sub q that's all so the division the appearance of division is just like a bunch of graphs and that is also called as bunch of graph signs let's see some uh, real block performance the main idea of block is that we need to puncture the cervical axillary fascia or cervical axillary sheath so needle has punctured to the omoid had entered into the cervical axillary fascia and drugs injected just to separate the division and needle is going in corner pocket just not to spare any division and the needle is all time in cervical axillary fascia and going in the corner pocket of just like uh, the rib artery and plexus thus separating the division the generally we commonly use is 20 to 30 ml will be good enough for supraclavicular block the needle can be redirected if the deposition of drug is not adequate then i generally redirect on upper part of the plexus second time If still there is a no, there is a no any drug distribution inside the division or in between the division, then I third time I also inject in between the division. Local anesthetic is deposited. Now the multiple redirection are not necessary. Even single needle position can give a good result, provided it should covers the all the division of brachial plexus block because this is a, a under vision block you can very well visualize the spread of local anesthetic in between the 
division. So that will make sure whether your flock is going to work or not. Okay. Side effect, phrenic nerve is 50% cases, phrenic nerve is going to flock. The main mechanism is uh, caudal spread of local anesthetic and yes, ultrasound has advantage because it can reduce the volume and thereby the chances of phrenic nerve will be less. So yes, yeah, side effects at that are definitely there, but can be can be is reduced with the use of ultrasound, definitely. Be ergonomics because you never know even you yourself need a nerve block for that. Use pillow to make space for needling. Make needle tip visualize all the time. Make plexus on first rib, not on the pleura, so that you should be sure enough whether you are not going to make any pneumothorax. Six ball corner pocket and use color doppler to identify the vessels because there are the vessels and cervical lip sometime that is one person present in cases that may obscure your vision your scanning of brachial plexus see this is one of the arteries uh, dorsal scapular artery over here and in supraclavicular region the branch of subclavian vessels the bonus material is uh, because this block spare intercostal brachial nerve in this region pink area as because of some fiber are they coming from T2 they are not covered in this block though it is also called as spinal of the arm but this area is spare and uh, to block this area I generally do what I do is I uh, scan for axillary approach of brachial plexus block and uh, this is deep fascia and just above to the deep fascia, I generally give half concentration, 5 to 10 ml, 10 ml of local anesthetic drug, and that will definitely block the intercostal brachial nerve. This is this local is given at, at the point of axillary reason, just like when we are utilizing axillary approach but above to the deep fascia in circumference so this will definitely block the intercostal brachial no thank you very much